Hi there, in this video I'm going to machine the flywheel for the Stuart 10V. Now this is this will be the second time I've machined a flywheel. The first time uh, I did it, it was for the uh, Stuart S50 and that was I think in video MT22 part 2. And when I undertook it for the first time I used a mixture of the mini lathe and mini mill and after doing it I realised that uh, I could have undertook the whole process using the mini lathe. Um, so in this video I'm going to use either the mini lathe or the slightly larger lathe, the SC4, to carry out the whole process. Um, apart from maybe drilling the hole for the grub screw, I might use the uh, mini mill for that. So to start with uh, I need to tidy up the casting. Um, so I'll I'll do that with a mixture of um, the bench grinder and uh, the hand file. But I'll do all that off camera. Okay, so I've decided to um, hold the flywheel with the boss on the other side in this three-jaw chuck. And I'm going to face off this, this side here, this side of the boss. And then I'm going to drill and ream to 9 30 seconds of an inch. So that was running at about 320 RPM. What I've decided to do now is to lock tight this uh, piece of bar in here so then I can hold it in the uh, three jaw chuck and put a life centre on this side and then carry out uh, doing the uh, rest of the machining. I've just decided to uh, change the uh, cutter tip for one of these aluminium type um, to see if I get a better finish. So it's running about 200 RPM.
bit better I'll just up the speed to 300 and uh, give it a final finish cut 5,000 Not bad. So running at uh, 240 RPM and the cross slide under power feed. Taking 5 thou off. just tidying up the side of the boss. Now finishing off with a bit of wet and dry. Well, that's uh, turned out really well. Uh, off camera, I took the shaft off and uh, drilled a hole for the grub screw um, and then I realised that the width of this boss here um, is a little bit on the large side um, so I've loctited the shaft back on uh, part way through I'm just going to take a couple of millimetres off the end here um, but apart from that I'm extremely happy at the moment so I'm just going to experiment with this um, high speed steel tool.
so to uh, detach the flywheel from the shaft it's just a matter of applying some heat. Well, a couple of days ago um, I decided off camera uh, to attach the crankshaft bearings to the saw plate and uh, it went extremely well, apart from the fact that when I um, screwed down one of the bearings um, I got a bit of a tight spot and uh, the way around that was to uh, just put a little bit of um, silver foil uh, or aluminium foil uh, underneath the bearings and uh, I only used about four thou uh, and that turns really really smooth now with no play whatsoever so I'm really happy with that result and in terms of the flywheel the process I use today um, is far better than the approach I took when I made uh, the flywheel for the S50 um, was really really straightforward on the lathe. Um, I did sort of spend a bit of time um, initially getting the three jaw chuck right on the boss um, to make sure that it, you know it sort of turned reasonably accurately but once I'd done that the machining just um, went really really well and the Loctite 638 I mean you just can't beat it for uh, attaching metal to metal um, for that type of process. So I'm really really happy and uh, I hope you like the result too.